Welcome back to Think Like a Master Electrician. In the series, we break down uh, NEC exam questions step by step. If you're finding this helpful, like, comment, and subscribe, and stay ahead for your exam prep. So let's dive into today's question. The interior of enclosures or raceways installed underground shall be considered to be a blank location. So again, first step is to beg or make your best educated guess. Before we start searching in the NEC, make your best educated guess, pick an answer, mark it, and start your timer. Your aim is to answer each question in about three minutes or less for the real exam. Uh, this one is a fairly easy question in my opinion, but if you're still not sure, let's dig into the NEC and find out. So the first part you should be doing is identifying keywords or key phrases. Um, in this, we'll look, we have interior of enclosures or raceways. So the interior of enclosures are the interior of raceways. And then the next key phrase we'll see is installed underground. This is telling us where they're being installed. Shall be considered this, we kind of touched on on the first question, is going to be a mandatory rule and shall be considered to be a blank location. And then we have three different uh, or four different answer choices here uh, i only see three because moist is an allocation defined by the national electrical code and we'll get into the code book and break down where i know and find that so now that we've identified our keywords we really need to think about where we're going to find the answer in the nec and so let's go to the book take a look at a couple ch uh, chapter one articles and we can dive a little deeper into my logic on why I want to look at one specific article over the other. Now that we've identified our keywords and key phrases, let's jump into our 2023 NEC. So first thing I want to look at is some chapter one articles in the beginning so I can explain why I know moist isn't a real category per the National Electrical Code. So if we look in Article 90, this is before your definitions, which start at Article 100. We'll turn the page and we're going to see code arrangement. So the code is divided into the introduction, nine chapters as shown as figure 90.3, chapters one, two, three, four, apply generally. Chapters five, six, seven, apply the special occupancies, special equipment, and other special conditions, and may supplement or modify the requirements in chapters one through seven. So figure 90.3 is broken down right here. And again, these first four chapters apply generally to all electrical installations. Chapters uh, five through seven supplement all these chapters. Chapter eight is not subject to the requirements of chapters one through seven, except where the requirements are specifically referenced in chapter eight. Chapter nine is your tables, and then you have your annex. So this kind of gives a general feel for what's going to be in the NEC one. Chapter one items are general. Chapter two are wiring and protection. Chapter 3 is wiring methods and materials. Chapter 4 is equipment for general use. I have a suspicion that this answer is going to be in Chapter 3 because this discusses methods and materials. And this question is kind of referencing materials, right? Your enclosures and your raceways. Uh, I kind of touched base on the... Uh, different types of locations and so if you're not sure what sort of locations are defined by the NEC you can go to right next door to the definitions and we can look up locations where L M's here we are 
So there are three locations that used to be in the older versions of the code. There are now six. There's locations anesthetizing, locations flammable anesthetizing, location damp, location dry, location remote, and location wet. The three we're really looking at and concerned about are damp, dry, and wet. And so those are the three different types of locations we're going to be uh, concerned about when we're picking our enclosures or our race, raceways. And you can see here moist is a selection that isn't really a true choice because it's not a true defined uh, location based on the National Electrical Code. So Next thing I want to hit on is now we're going to be really looking at our keywords, right? So interiors of enclosures or raceways installed underground shall be considered blank location. So for me, uh, the interior enclosures is kind of a niche item that we're probably not going to find really easy in the NEC, but raceways is something more common that we're going to be able to find. And I think that's what we're going to go with. So raceways installed underground is what we're going to be looking for. So again, you can kind of go through the table of contents in the beginning. Uh, if we look for raceways, there's a bunch of different types, right? You got flat cable, you got all this stuff. You got MC, ITC. Now we have... IMC, RMC, FMC, liquid type, PVC, all these different types, right? That's going to be really difficult to kind of narrow down what uh, we're looking at. So what you really want to focus on is kind of like general requirements. And if we look here, general requirements for wiring methods and materials is Article 300. And that's kind of where I would lean towards checking because, again, it's just wiring methods and materials. So that's using the table of contents. It's not super friendly. Uh, so we'll look at the other method, which is going to be looking at our index. So we'll go to our index and then we'll go look for raceways. LMNOP. And R, and boom. Now we have raceways, and let's look for installed underground. So let's look for underground. Underground. 300.5. So that's what I want to see right there. 300.5. Again, I think it's going to be Article 300 somewhere because it's a general kind of wiring method. So I will get to 300 right here. Article 300. And uh, it was 300.5. So let's see if we can find 300.5. Aha, underground installations. And let's see right here, wet locations. The interior of enclosures or raceways installed underground shall be considered to be wet location. That's the answer right there, and it's word for word. Another thing that I didn't mention previously was that the uh, the word shall be considered is one of those mandatory rules that we want to be aware of, right? So if we go back to, oh, the book just flipped there. If we go back to Article 90, and we look at 90.5, you're going to have mandatory, permissive, and explanatory material. Those that have shall or shall not are going to specifically require or prohibit something. So when it's specific, it's going to be almost word for word every time you find it in the NEC. And so shall be considered, it was this whole phrase is word for word found in the NEC. Another thing here, we can look at 
dot five B wet locations, cables and insulated conductors installed in raceways or enclosures underground must be listed as suitable for wet locations in accordance with 31010C. And you can see underground cables, conductors suitable for wet locations, and then cables and insulated conductors installed in raceways and enclosures underground must be suitable for a wet location. This is uh, Mike Holt's content there. You can see that they have a enclosure and the interior that must be rated for a wet location as well as the conduit itself, the raceway. The interior enclosures or raceways installed underground shall be considered to be a wet location. Did you guess that right? Let me know in the comments. Uh, so why does the NEC classify this as a wet location? Well, moisture can enter raceways due to condensation or just groundwater, and the, conductor, the conductors themselves must be rated for wet locations to prevent insulation breakdown. So uh, proper sealing and drainage are critical to avoid that corrosion and potential electrical hazards from insulation failure. So uh, that is it for this episode. If you like this inform uh, sort of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and look out for another episode coming out soon.